feet engaged, ready to worship God before we start to sing the first word. What, what is that? What does that look like? I've seen it done in places. It works. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. But what can we do? What about scriptures readings during the worship? What about uh, multicultural influences or video loops or something going on inside the worship? I don't know what they are. All I'm saying is let's figure it out. Let's shake the tree. Let's get really creative because I value your input. Renee values your input. The teams value your input. So if you see something, shoot me an email. Hey man, what about this? Or you know a song that a, that a video goes good with that we could play the video while worshiping to that song? I don't know. All I'm saying is let's dig deeper than we ever have as far as creativity. Let's shake it up. How about leading from the front? And, and this is creating a culture. This is when when you're not scheduled and you're not playing, that's strategically sitting your bottom somewhere in this, like this region and this region here. And that's meaning that, that if I'm not leading on the stage today, I'm leading from my seat today. I'm creating a culture and a heart of worship. I'm creating that this place where people are going to authentically connect with God. I'm leading from my seat. And I've seen it done, and it, and it works. And, and, and I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Is that when you stand up at 30 seconds till the countdown, and you start praising God, people are going to be like, what's he doing? i got to stand up and praise God too. I don't know what's going on. And then all of a sudden, we've got this culture that's being built of standing in, in an, an ovation to God. You know, we're standing giving God this ovation. People don't know what they're doing, but they're going to catch on. There's this... Put the coffee down, man. It's time. You know, I said that the other week, and I'm like, it's true. At first service, everybody's trying to get their caffeine in. I'm telling you. It's like, they're try, you know, they're caffeine. I'm not a caffeine junkie, but drink it at home. You know, I, I see them on the back rows. And, dude, we are like fist pump. We're going after God, and they're just sipping on coffee. And I'm like, okay, there is a major disconnect here from what we're trying to display here and what we're doing here. Lead from the seats. If you're not scheduled, man, this is so important. People don't get this, but you got to get this. You got to create a culture. You know, we have the opportunity to minister to Catholic, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Assembly of God, Foursquare, Non-Denom. You name it, they're here, folks. And many of them have never experienced the freedom, the culture of worship where you just you, you lift your hands, not because it's the cool thing to do, it's because, man, Dad, I'm just giving you all that I am. There's, there, there's that thing that happens. People don't get it. The clapping, they don't get it. Man, you're, you're liberating. You're, you're setting the captives free. You're, you're just breaking off. Man, you can clap to anything else. You can clap to Elton John, but you can't clap to Jesus music? We haven't created the culture for it. We must create the culture and show people the freedom. Man, there's freedom to worship. There's freedom. Uh, man, I'm not saying to put on a show. Please hear my heart, guys. There are some people that will connect sitting down and they will connect more than the person shouting and screaming next to them. But what I am saying is that if we want to see freedom, we've got to lead from the front and model from the stage. If you're on the stage, monkey see, monkey do. And I hate to say that, but people are followers. Some people are leaders. The people that are leading from the seats, people are going to follow and the rest are going to follow. I don't know. It's just how it works. But monkey see, monkey do. If you're up there and you got the frown on your face and you, you're just not connected or, you know, or your eyes are shut the entire time, then people aren't going to engage. If you're busting strings, going nuts, fist pumping, jumping, screaming, you've got the whole, you, you're just going after God, guess what? People are going to get excited. Monkey see. Monkey do. Here's the areas of opportunity for 2011 as we close. And all of you said, amen. <laughs> Three areas of opportunity 2011. Number one, we've got to clean our hearts. Man, it's time to take that deep inventory, guys. Um, 
None of us have arrived. None of us are there. But it's time, man. If there's, if there's little things in your life, I'm telling you, when you start letting go of the little things, they get easier and easier. Things that once matter don't even matter to me anymore. I thought about it the other day. I was thinking, yep, not even a part of my life anymore. No matter what it is. No matter what it is. It's time to clean our hearts. Get ready. Personal excellence. Push yourself this year. Push yourself. Man, I found myself the other day on YouTube for the first time looking at a guitar riff thing. I was like, this is crazy. They got stuff like this online. And I know that's new. I mean, you guys may do that all the time. But I'm telling you, I'm pushing myself in an area that I've never done before. I'm a cowboy chord guy. But I want to learn lead this year. I'm pushing myself into a realm of excellence. Will I ever be able to play lead good? I don't know, but I'm going to try. I'm going to learn something new this year that I didn't know. I'm going to push myself to excellence because God matters. Because this ministry matters. God's house matters. God's house matters. You know, every time you play, you sing, you click, you push. No matter what it is, do you know when that person comes and surrenders their heart to God, you are a part of that great, miraculous move of God's presence? You're a part of that. We get to see that. Guys, there are people that would beg to see what we see every Sunday morning. I'm telling you, we've got to have a heart of excellence to see even greater things. Time of the year. Push yourselves. Push yourselves. Push yourselves. Push the limits. I can't believe I'm practicing three times what I used to practice. It's because God is calling you to excellence. And creating a culture. And I've talked enough about that. Just a couple of housekeeping things that I want to share with you. And then um, I'm going to ask, I'm only going to have one breakout session tonight. I'm, and everyone else can um, go home and let, I don't think you, many, many of your team's not here, right, Adam? Okay. I'm going to add the uh, sound text. Anyone that does sound, plays with sound, knows anything about sound, um, you guys are going to do a breakout session after this. And it's only going to be about a 15 to 30 minute deal. And then you'll be done for the night. So um, if you're interested, James, I'm going to ask you, if you have the time, can you stay for that sound tech uh, meeting? That'd be great. Um, just a couple of things. Number one, Trent Monk is coming again. Um, and I don't know if you guys know Trent, but Trent is, um, he is a singer-songwriter, acoustic guy. We're going to do an after party on a Saturday night here, March 19th. Um, you're going to see flyers probably in your seats uh, by not this coming Sunday, but next Sunday. But I'm going to send out a Facebook thing. Can you do me a favor? Can you pump that out to as many people as you can? It's a free concert. It's always a blast. It's just a, it's an awesome night. Trent is a very super talented guy. So Trent Monk is coming. He's got a cool little video. I was showing Don and the team. Uh, he's got a cool video that uh, he was doing one of his new songs. And if you don't know Trent, he, he plays in the guitar. He sings in the guitar. He taps on the guitar. He's got this loop thing, playing tambourine, shaker and all this stuff. And by the time he's done, he's got this whole beat that he's just doing with the guitar. So it's just sick. You know, the guy's... Talk about excellence. The guy is, he knows what excellence is all about. They were with Monk and Neagle, had many hits um, when they were together as a group. But he'll be here March 19th. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is team leads. This is something brand new to Journey's worship team. And I felt like it was very, very important. As this group grows, we've only got about 35 or 40 people here tonight that confirmed but the journey team itself, the worship team, has expanded probably to about 65 to 70 people that are a part of this ministry and what we do on a weekly basis. So um, with that being said, team leads are going to be uh, responsible and their roles are going to be to infuse care at a greater level so that I know that I can't infuse care to 70 people. So what these guys are going to do are going to be more or less uh, team leads over specific departments, over specific areas of the worship team. And what they're going to do is several different things. Let me read these to you real quick.